In this lecture, we are going to talk about the plastering work. Plastering is a process of covering the rough surface of work done with mortar. Plastering can be done from different materials depending upon the need. The term rendering is used when a very thin finishing coat is applied. Mortar which is used for plastering is a heterogeneous mixture of sand, cement and water, which should be mixed in a prescribed ratio to get the mortar of required proportion in the masonry and plastering. Cement are of many types such as OPC and PPC. Ensure, cement to be used is not less than 90 days old. Refer to Lecture 3.03 for understanding cement. Sand should not contain any organic impurities and harmful chemicals which may affect the quality of plastering work. The gradation should be checked to control the workability, strength and control over the shrinkage. Strength of plaster will be affected if there is more fines in mix. For more detail refer 3.01 for fine aggregates. Water is an important ingredient to get a mix. Two main functions are there of water, it starts the process of hydration and it provides workability to dry mix. But if the quantity will increase, it will affect the strength of plastering. Water should not contain any oxalating and retarding chemicals in it. Avoid the us of stagnant water. For more detail refer 3.0 for water. Plaster should be applied while the mortar is in plastic state. As cement hydration causes the mix to be hardened. Plastering work is performed to achieve various objectives. The most common reasons is to protect the external surface from penetration of rainwater and from other atmospheric conditions. It can be provided to give smoother surface so that dirt and dust don't clog on vertical surfaces. It can be applied to give decorative effect. Various textures and shapes can be rendered on plaster. It can provide protection against insects penetration, and to cover up the inferior quality of member of the masonry work. Following points should be considered and planned for before any plaster work begins. Types of surface plaster is to be applied on, so that necessary preparations before plastering can be minimized. Area, type of finish, and thickness required so that mix design can be planned appropriately. Details of scaffolding, to work in correct sequence, particularly for ceiling and height work. Details of accessories to be fixed in plaster, so that damages can be minimized. Type of decorative finish to be applied, if any, to understand compatibility with the base coat. It is proven multi-purpose material. It can be applied on brick walls, stone masonry walls or a CC surface. After drying it produces durable surface, which is easy to clean. It can be applied on flat or curved walls or ceilings. And it can be treated with painting, wallpaper, whitewashings, stenciling, 